There. But it's just a log, Harry. So, how can a mistake? Am I getting sick close? Like Leon. Thanks. Mustn't leave these. Oh, remember Mr. Simmons at the first meeting? Film everything. It was such fun then, Si. Now we're just filming everything just in case, you know? Just in case anything happens to us. Nothing's going to, Chrissy. Well done. I cannot believe how much this is costing. And I hate camping. It's a small price to pay for a night under the canvas with me. <laughs> Sign Mr. Simmons and get back to my cozy bed in Falkirk, more like. Harry, before, when you were in the water, your eye, did it hurt? My eye? No, I don't think so. Why? Because your left one, it was red. What, like bloodshot? It's like the colour of your eye had disappeared. The iris was red. Sure. What? We should get back to the ravine to meet the others. They should be back by now. Do you feel up to it? Yeah, I'll be fine. Loose, I'll be fine. Come on, let's go. We got up here easily enough, didn't we? Yeah, but we weren't loaded up like a couple of donkeys then, were we? Ah, that's what you reminded me of. All you need is a little bit of straw to chew on. <sighs> Come on, Chris, lighten up. You're doing really well, Harry. I can't stop thinking about my eye. I wonder what made it go red. I think it was just a burst blood vessel. What's it like now? Completely normal. Come on. Let's keep going. Chrissy! This is gonna take all night unless you get a move on. Give me a break, Simon. I'm really not in the mood to be bullied by you. Look. Just saying we need to get back to the others. I know what you're saying. I'm keeping you from racing ahead like the superhero that you are. Oh, that's not fair. Look, you just have to tell yourself you can keep going. Don't give me that sports psychology rubbish. Oh, stop being so pig-headed. I'm only trying to help. Look, I'm sorry I'm not Lucy, OK? I know she's the one you want to be with. Lucy? Yeah, you know her, the fit, sporty one who's up for anything and can run rings around everyone with her energy and positive attitude. What? You're smiling at Simon Tudor. You, of course. Well, stop it. You're jealous of Lucy. You think I'm comparing her to you? Look, I'm trying, Si, but I can't always be what you want me to be. What do you mean? Well, it's not like I'm out to impress you or anything. It's just... <sighs> Look, all this has been really hard for me, Si. Chrissy, I don't want you to be anyone except for you. Really? You with less of a temper, maybe. I'm 
still not feeling good. I mean, I can't believe what just happened back there. How could I possibly mistake showing up for a log? What's wrong with me? I feel so weak. But I don't want to let Lucy down. I'm the only one she's got now. But the truth is, I don't feel up to it anymore. <laughs> I mean, Simon, he survived on his own in the desert with a spider's body. But, but I'm not Simon. And I never will be. And most of the time, I think that's a good thing. But right now, Right now, I could do with some of his overbearing self-confidence. Sorry about that. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm feeling better. Great. Well, let's keep moving. The ring can't be far from here now. When we first got together, I never thought we'd make it this far. Yeah, I know what you mean. We never used to talk to each other at school, did we? I mean, I always wanted to, but you always had your other friends. There's something out there! What is it? Right now, I'm feeling pretty good about all this. I know we haven't found out where Mr. Simmons is, but we have a clue to where he might be. Harry, Lisa and Shauna can help us figure it out. We've got camping gear and food supplies, and first thing tomorrow, we can head off and find out where Mr. Simmons is. Although first, I've got to convince Chrissy to actually stand up. So you've seen this red-eye thing before? I don't want to alarm you, Harry. We really don't know much about it. Only that people who have claimed to be in contact with the aliens have been known to have it. Are you saying it's some sort of alien disease? Possibly. So what's going to happen to me? You must know that. I'm enjoying being the leader again. Um, leader of what, exactly? You know, like us, the group. What makes you think you're in charge, Simon? Buying a map and a few tents doesn't do it for me, I'm afraid. Nothing's changed, has it? There's the same old arrogant Simon. Right, we're gonna hitch a lift now. Five minutes each. You go first. I don't want to upset either of you, but I need to tell you about Shona. You see now? Was she all right? Have you taken her somewhere? Do you have Leon too? I know nothing about Leon, Harry. So where is Shona then? Let me explain. I'd come back to find out if you'd managed to make contact with David and Sarah. I went to the lake and found Shona. Is she all right? She was fine, although upset and looking for Leon. So we went to the ravine to look for you. When you weren't there, she became terrified and... And what? Then her eye turned red and she disappeared in front of me. What? So you're saying she vaporized into thin air? Well, I guess so, yes. She, she just seemed to split into two for a moment and, and then... No, it won't work, Stanich. What won't work? We've fallen for your tricks before and we won't do it again. You've got to believe me. I wouldn't make this up. Yes, you would. You were the one that told us that David and Sarah were at the detention center when they'd been abducted. Yes, and I explained why I said those things. It's all in the past now. It's your future I'm concerned about. What do you know about our future? I mean, I want to make sure you're all right. Believe me, I wouldn't make up those things I told you about Shona. It was the strangest and, and 